like a gift. Like some people have God in their head, in their hands. Some people get to go up in front of a whole congregation knowing they've got a direct line to God. Some divine Bluetooth earbuds or something. They say faith is like the radio signal. Goes in and out at random, hard to tune, always playing pop rock from slightly before your time. Me, if my signal to God is anything, it is shaky. <laughs> I want to scream at him, her, it, whatever. That would do about as well as smashing the radio to make the signal stronger. Doesn't do no good. Do no good. I only ever want it to do good. No, actually, <laughs> I only ever wanted to be selfish without repercussion. Without doubt. And I wanted it to pay off. But then you get this shiny person in your life, someone who you think you maybe love, who makes you believe that it would be good to try getting some morals one of these days. And so you try. You go down to the corner store and you fork over your rusty ass nis nickel and ask for what you think you want. And in exchange for your sanity, you get one six pack of scruples grimy and dust caked and smelling like crotch, but this is what you wanted. So you fucking cart yourself home, crack it open, start drinking. And now you get to live like this. With this full aspiration of being selfless. But it was all because you liked a girl, you know? You just thought she was pretty and shiny and you wanted to be like her. Maybe if you could be like her, she would like, like you. And then you have discovered the origin of peace, of happiness. Anyway, so as a result of the newfound scruples, being selfish no longer works. So you try your good work your action item, you know, you make a plan, but there will always be someone sh shinier than you who is better at matching value with word, with choice. And so you toil and you painstakingly find God and you look for him or it, whatever the fuck under every last couch cushion and you think you'll know him when you see him, <clears throat> but you keep not seeing and you keep not knowing, and pretty soon you start to feel like, well shit, I'm never gonna find this fucker. And that's where you start to get confused, and you think, okay, I'm just not looking hard enough. And as you replace each cushion back on the couch, you start to hear scuffling in the dark, and little drips of blood on the kitchen floor in the night, and you think, <sighs> Finally, this is where God has been the whole time. It is a relief to think that the creature eyes and your peripheral vision are actually the watchful gaze of a loving God. And so you choose to believe this about yourself. To believe that you have this perception because the alternative, the alternative is too deafening to even think. So here is a lesson about how to find God in the grout between floor tiles and in the dust in the window shield because all the beautiful shit has had God milked clean and dry out of it. But I can teach you to scavenge for scraps. <laughs>